Right, good morning everyone. Again, this is part six. Uh, yesterday I finished this. I, I do have some more of the um, ice cubes to put in and a couple more bottles I've got to make because I used all those up. It has dried, it's come out fantastic, thrilled to pieces with it. And the shack's going to be like a weather-worn one, you know, it's, when it is, it's open to the elements, isn't it? So I've got that. Now I'm just collecting bits and pieces together. Like I've got this to finish. I did paint that, but I'm going to change it. Uh, I printed this off because with a straw, I'm going, one of these straws, I'm going to make a, well, I've got a snorkel to make. So I'm going to be using, cutting that off to there. So that's with the straw and then I'm going to paint it. But I'm also going to be making a um, cream, sun cream. So that's going to be wrapped around there and then flattened at the end and glued together. So I've got that to do today. Uh, I've got the material here. I changed my mind and cut that for the shack. Just so you, you're not going to see it. It's just going to be gathered. I didn't want the striped one. It was too stiff. This was more flexible. So... And then I've got it to cover the table so it's all matching. Um, I could change it. I'm making things, you know, up now, ready for the shack to be put together. And like I say, we've got the bird thing to go on it as well, which has to be finished off. But I'm just making things and then I will go through each thing as I put it in place and make it up. I do have some pots here. I also made those as well, which have to be finished off, which I know, you know... I'm just going to clear my desk of all the things I've got. I found that tube. And to be honest, I was going to change my mind about that table and make one like that. I think that would be better. But I need a bigger disc. So I'm going to be getting um, one of those made. I might, I might make that today. I might still make that up anyway, um, because I want one by the shack itself, but then I want a table that's by, you know, like in between, like that will do, in between the two seats. Um, although we've got this, that's done, that's dry and ready. So that's between the two seats, that's that one. Jane, this might end up a little bit bigger than you thought. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get it to you, but we will. And that has finally glued itself, you know, so I can take all of this off. Don't waste them. Just peel the glue off. It does peel when I can get it off. Peel straight off like that. That's glued tight. Because it is only ceramic, so it's like metal. You can peel it off easy. Let's get this one off. So I'm thrilled about that one. Um, I'm not sure which size, that's why I've done both sizes. I wasn't sure which size to go, you know, so we'll see. And I think they look fantastic. So that's done. This is done and needs painting. And the sign, I need um, a sign to go on there, which I'm going to do, which I'll leave that out actually, because I've got that to do. So I might cover, I'm not sure, but I might use this to cover although I've got the lollipops in these the lollipop sticks came in so I might just do that not sure at the moment we need I need to see it so but I'm gonna make that today so that's that and then I've got this surfing picture which I'm also going to um, put that there. frame I need to frame it just gonna take these out whoops Put that in there because it might come in handy. These arrived as well, Jane, which are the two palm trees. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to have a look at this because I might just pop this one straight in. They came in a pair, so I'm not fussed about that look. And that can go in there and I can clean all of that off. That's nothing. I'll scrape all that off. There was something I dismantled, but hey ho. What hurt to clean that off? I'll shave that off so that fits in. And that's a little palm tree. 
like that. Saved me making one. My hands were starting to hurt and I thought, I don't want them to really go because you know what I mean. And then we've got another one to go somewhere. So we've got that. Like I said, I'm going to make a frame for this today, which I'm going to use these sticks. So we're going to do that first. I've, uh, these already also came, Jane. Now, I had to send off for these because the ones I've got, I've loads, but they're um, more Victorian style. So these um, were the only ones I could find that were modern-ish. And obviously... Um, yeah, I was seeing how she was put together. So I'm not sure that any of these will be sunbathing. <laughs> because they've got sponge. But when they've got the wetsuits on, they can be on the water, can't they? So that's what I want to do. We'll have one sitting on the seat. I'm going to do a deck chair thing, a layback chair. One ready, undoing the clothes. That sort of thing, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so they came and I was thrilled at that. So that's then. I mean, there's a whole family, but I don't know which ones I'm going to use. We might put the kids playing in the water or playing on the beach. So that's that. These also arrived. I've more. I've got um, plenty of these to do the uh, bookmarks. So I will be putting them. You'll get a selection of them, and I'll be putting them up for sale. So that's those. I fished out some more bits. Oh, I've got that to do as well. That sign. I've fished out some more bits, better things actually to make the rings with that were slightly bigger than the others. And some bits and pieces, that can be another ball. Um, I want a coffee pot on the decks because people like to drink coffee. And I've got some beads there that I can make into cups. There's a, I found a dolphin um, like that, which I'll cut this off, but it's going to go on the shack and I'll paint that. Oh no, we'll leave it like that. It can go on the shack as decoration. So, a few more bits and pieces, like I said, that i found. Now, we've got that to do. Like I said, the lollipop sticks came in. Like that. So, I'm just going to put those there. Oh, and I've got this sort of stuff that I need to put in the box as well. Because I don't know what we're going to do until I actually get the shack made up and i've got those to finish off and oops a daisy put that away i'm going to need that in a minute anyway get rid of that so i need to do that of course yeah these i'm not sure about these little ones but i'm not fussed about them they can go there and i will probably do those finish them off but the other ones were better um, that's I've got the fencing to do, uh, but what I'm going to do with the fencing, because I firmly believe don't waste space when you're doing miniatures. So, on the fencing itself, let me just see if I can show you. I've, I've drawn all these. I want a roller canopy made, you know, to make a canopy. Um, I, I will have a light for outside, but I've also got them lights, that stripper lights. I need to make some fishing pots. We need to make several of these. I need to make a uh, um, Knickerbocker Glory drink, ice cream thing. I need a bench. I need some long paddles because people who surf, they might, might want to do that where they stand up and do it. I need a lantern. The picture of this, that's that one. So I've got that to do. Um, some beach towels because it's a shack and it sells everything. Or if you don't take it, you can buy it. Um, so I've got a life duty uh, thing and I'm go actually going to try another deck chair using those thin ones because I'm not keen on the one I've done. Now, regarding the um, fencing, I was going to use these, but I have got some actual rods that I'm going to use. And then this is rope wrapped round and then hung. So it's more shacky look <laughs> you know what i mean so baskets i've got to make like, like i say a couple of deck chairs well i've got a smaller one to make as well for children a welcome sign to go over the um shack as well as the signpost for itself uh chains to do on here so that they're it's a chain that's going to be linked like that so that the surfboards can't be touched 
um, this is it, this is the fencing. I'm going to make like a fencing, like a, a divider by the shack, but it's going to have shelving on and little tiny knob things um, so that things can be put on there because we need buckets and spades that they sell. It's going to be a real proper scene, beach scene. Um, what else do we need? I've, I've also got a plastic bag to make. That's why I wanted the... Um, this acetate well i've got some thinner than that to be honest because i'm going to make a bag that you can see through and then we've got this that's going to go inside it i'm going to make the boston's two bats and a ball and well several balls i'll put a little tube of them and what i'll do is i'll use that as a tube to put some balls in some colored balls and i looked for a dog a boston dog and i'm sorry jane but it were way, way, way too expensive. I don't know if anybody's got an actual miniature Boston dog um, that they, you know, they don't want anymore. If you want to donate it, um, I would appreciate it because it would look fantastic in here. But uh, unless Jane's going to get one, I don't know. If you buy one, Jane, send it on, but you know, and I'll put it in because I just found it was too much. The whole thing is going to be costly. Um, when I say that, even though it's handmade, it's the time put in it, like we're on to day six of making all these miniatures. But, you know, it, every item adds up and I'm trying to keep it as low as possible for you. So if you want to get one, Jane, then that's up to you. But um, I looked at the prices and I just thought, no, I'm not going to do that because you might not want it. And then, you know, it's pointless then. I've wasted money. <clears throat> Right, the beach bed. I've got the beach bed to make. I also want this to make so it points towards... This is the shack. So Boston shack there. I'm going to put a bit of surfing shack with uh, fresh seafood, ice cream and surfing boards. Surf boards, that's what I need to put. And a candy floss maker. I want to do that as well. And the other things, what did I say? Yeah, beach towels. Oh, that's it. Did I do that side? Yeah. So that's everything. You know, um, there's an awful lot to do in miniatures. Now, these came, so I've got these miniature flowers and that. Because I'm going to do, um, you know, a headdress on the on the girl and do her flowers. She's at the beach. She has flower head, you know, like a flower band. So there's those. Um, and then I've got these as well if I want to do some dried flowers or whatever. There's lots and lots of things I can use to fill up and make it look like a real shack. So, we've got those. There's just a lot to do, and I just want to get on and get it done. I don't know whether to do the divider just... Yeah, shall I do the divider? I don't know. Let's have a look. Now, I'm going to do this. We'll get on and do these. I have got uh, my heat gun on. I've got those to do. I'm going to make the frame for that. That's the, one of the jobs I wanted to do. Let me get the frame. Where did I put those? There we are. I'm just going to get four fresh ones. But I'm not sure how many. I'm going to take that out of the way a minute. Right. Put these to one side. Out of the way. Yeah, I quite enjoyed doing that yesterday. It was a bit of fun. So, um... What we need to do, we need to put these on here. Like that, I need to mark that off. And just, I get my scissors. Just easier to cut with scissors, that's all. And then I just need to do the same with that. And then, wait, this is going to hang up, you see. I will um, age it a little bit as well. I actually might cut that down. That's it. To do it like that. So that, oops. Let's 
first of all I'm just going to cut it there that way and we need four of those don't we <clears throat> So we have four of these and then what I need to do is to cross them like that and make sure I cut them all the same. And hopefully we will have this right. So I'm going to actually put the um, frame together like that. I know it's going to cut this one down, but it, I'm not bothered. We need to do it like this. Let me just show you. Like that. Like that. And then. Right, I need to trim those down. So what I'm going to do is just to glue this on to start with. <clears throat> And that should fit in there like that. That's fine. I'm just going to alter this one slightly. Like that. That'll do. that back mate that's it that's okay like that it doesn't have to be perfect at all And when it's painted, it'll be fine. So now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this glue and just soak that. Just there. And there. There. And there. In actual fact, yeah we'll just do that with it okay and then what I'm going to do using the same glue because it is it's got, I need to put like a glass on it
Right, I'm happy with that. It will settle itself out. It just needs to be laid somewhere flat. So that's that done. Uh, mind you, I don't want it to sag either, so I'll shift it there, Fee. There we go. So that's done. Right, let's put that back on there. And I thought of um, doing it with the lollipop sticks. That'll do, I think. So what I'm going to do is cut these. You don't want them any bigger than that. Do them the same size. Right, so we've got that, and now what we've got to do is turn these into bats. So, not as easy as it looks. Like that. Now, I've just got to shape them. They're only like little hand bats. Like I say, it isn't as easy as it looks. more off that I think now I'm going to take my file and file this like that and it's not um even or anything like that and i need to just trim a little bit off that like that see a little bit more Thank you. 
There's one little bat. Right, so I've got two little bats there made out of two little, you know, tennis bats, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to give them a lick of paint. And just let them dry. That's dry enough to get hold of the handles and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that cotton that I had yesterday and straight away I'm going to try and it really needs to I'm going to start it like that It needs to tighten up. Like that. like that I don't mind we can just do it like that there we go They'll do like that. I'm quite happy with them. Right, everyone, I'm back now. Um, I've just been fishing out some bits and pieces. Um, I've got to sort this out. I think that has accidentally snapped off that. I'm not sure. And sorry about my hands. They are filthy. So I'm just going to glue this one on. Oops. Oh, God, I'm dropping everything. My fingers and hands are... See, I'm doing miniatures again and it's, they're making them hurt. Where's it gone there? So what I'm going to do is just turn that upside down. I think I've got that right. Okay, now what I've done is I've uh, shredded some of this at the moment. It's just some uh, rope that I've got. And I've shredded it because we're going to make some coconuts as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that. A pound. These were a pound for six. <laughs> so I want to do some like ice cream things in them. Um, when we put the set the table and that. So I'm just going to leave them there. I did find two smaller palm trees that I had. So that's great fun. We can put those to use. I also have this Jane, which I uh, had, which is sorry we're closed. Please try again. Come in, we're open. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. I've got a ship's wheel that I found, which I'm going to cut this off. Let me find my pliers and um, just snip that.
Actually, I could have kept that on to bloody what's it, couldn't I? Hang it, never mind. Never mind, but I've got a ship's wheel. It can go up on the wall for decoration. So that's another thing that we can use. I've just finished this. I've just got to do the edging. And I think what I'm going to do is um, just blacken it with my pen. And I've used the same straw, that bit, this section, to do the handle. The hanger, should I say. So, yeah. Now, I've spoken to Jane, and she said <laughs> she's going to film it when she gives him it, uh, her son Craig it on Christmas Day. She's going to film him opening it and send me the, the video. She said he'll love it. I hope he does. I hope he does. That's just edging that. I found some glasses, so I'm not sure if we're going to use them for one of the dolls. That's done, Jane. Um, I found some hooks that I made as well, so I can put them up. And what else? I've got that. Now I want to do that table, don't I? So I'm just going to use this, I think. Yeah. I'm going to do the round table, I think. Let me get my pencil. So I need to just... Obviously do it bigger than that, but I'm using that as a guide. And then what I'll do is use my ruler. And that's the shortest band, so that's the way we'll do one and a half. Okay, one and a half. Now, I did find a bag to put the towel in and the bat and ball thing that I made. Um, I didn't like the one I made, so I'm going to take them out. There's the bat and the ball at uh, bats that I made, so they're going to be in there like that, I would imagine. I don't know, they might be on the deck somewhere. There's the little tube I made with the little balls in for that. Uh, let's go back to doing this. Where did I put that? Here we are. So I'm going to glue this onto here. We've already marked out where I want it to be. Like that. And that's a big enough table. I think... I need another one as well. So I'm just going to get another reel. There we are. This is the one I want. Right, so we've got that, haven't we? But I'm going to put that there onto that one, I think. And not this. So I'm going to clip this. There we go, I don't want that. And then what I'm going to do is to pop a hole in here, because that will go in like that. Take one of these. Oh, take this. Like that. 
and then that will go on there like that and that's going to be perfect so what I need to do now is to glue that bit in and I'm just going to use this glue and glue that on the top as well so we're going to push that in like that and pull that down and that will flatten that's it look there and that's fine for the beach we just try one of the chairs perfect look at that perfect <laughs> yeah right so that's done i've just got to paint that up okay another one done and this one i don't know if i can get that in the middle can i can you guess it fee can you get it right Ugh. Is it in the middle? Kinda. So I'm just going to use my little hammer. You'll have to excuse me a minute. There we go. And then I just need to pop that in. So I need to glue that in. I'm doing more than one table just in case we'll wait and see let me just see how tall I want them it's got to be a little bit taller than that one there I think that's it now I managed to find some more cans in that that I can undo and relabel uh, another ball type bead so I'm just going to put them in there as well and now recover them some cups so we've got those a stopper for the I'm sure it might fit in one of the tubes in the um this one i'm not sure if it will it'll fit over it like that for when i put the little ball things in so what i'm going to do i don't want it any more than that it's just getting little ball things for the um beach so what i need to do now is to take some glue oops that cap came off um, just to stick some glue there pop that on first like that let that set fill it up I found those as well I was going to make some goggles I might do, I don't know yet. I'll see if I can make them. And um, like I say, I found the hinge. So yeah, I might be able to make that into some goggles. We'll see. Yeah, because that's uh, not right didn't look right I'm just going to peel that off and we just need to transfer those into there
and just use them like little balls. Let's get another one. They're just seed beads. Like that, you see, and that's how we do it. So I'm going to take that off in a minute. I've just got to glue this cap on. So we just need to put a little bit of the glue Hang on, it's drying up. In there, circle that around. Like that. And then we're just going to sit that on there like that. Lift that off the deck and just trim that. And then we've got some little balls in there to uh, play. So, and that will dry. So we've got the little tennis bats. The little balls to go with it. And they're good, aren't they? Look. <laughs> so that's that. And we've got a little bag which I'm going to take that bow off. I don't want the bow on. You're not going to thingy. So what I need to do now is to glue the little arm back on because it's just come off. Like that. Going to do the towel, which I had before. Let me just sort this out. So, we've got a rolled up towel. Which we're going to add to the bag. Like that. I'm going to stick the bats in like that so they stick in something like that um, I'm going to have to rest the ball thing in there like that stick that to one side mate like that I'm not sure if I've got that quite right. Like that, that's it, that'll do. <laughs> oh, hang on. Like that. You can't actually, that's what I don't like about doing these little things. You, I've buggered that up. Like that, so you can see there's like little balls in them. Uh, and I need another towel on top, just like a rolled towel. So like I say, I'm going to put the towel out so you can see that it's a towel. Like that. There you go, little beach bag. 
And for the front, I don't know, we can put something on it, I'm sure. Okay, let's do this. Why not? Oh, I think I'll stick it on with this glue. Because I know it will stick. It won't come off the metal. There we go. It was a little charm. An English charm. <laughs> so that's done. Another one's done and out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, but you know, you've just got to do these little things, haven't you? Um, now this one, where did I put that palm tree? I had those two little palm trees. I think that'll go in there. No, so I'm going to take that off of that. Let me just see, do I really need to cut that? Where's my nifty knife? That is my nifty knife, I need it. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Oh, perfect. How's that? I can straighten that up. Perfect. And then that just needs colouring and some seashells. So, I do have some shells. Seashells? Shells. They can go away because we don't need them yet. Now... So what I'm going to do is just use these little shells, these, to add around the base. And it just looks right seasidey, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's another one done. We just need to colour this, which is no nothing, you know, that's easily done. So we've also, you know, got to fill that up. And uh, with what? Don't know. We'll see. People put food and that away, don't they? They throw stuff away. But that's a bin anyway. So we've got one of those. Um, so what I think I'll do now is I'm going to do the... Oh, I've got this. The ladder for the side because they'll have to get up to the shack to uh, take the um, surfboards down from the roof. <laughs> and like I say, we've got that to sort out. So that's another one. God knows what size this is going to be, Jane. I do apologise right from the beginning. So there's just bits and pieces that we can have here to hang on the shack. Plates, little mug. I'm not sure about the glasses and that we shall see. I might need to do them at the end. So now what I'm going to do is to build one of the units. Well, the divider. Okay, so we need this. This is going to be like a... Um, a divider.
Right, that's all I'm doing. Just got that to stick on there. And um, like that. And then stick these on here. To weigh it down. I think we'll do another one in the middle like that. That's all I'm going to do and leave that to dry overnight. And I'll be back tomorrow with some more part seven. Thanks for watching. Take care. Speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.